question two, we've asked to do something similar, but this time with a cubic. So step one, let's differentiate this. So 3x squared goes to 6x, and the x cubed, 3 at the front, and the 3 goes down to a 2. We're being asked for the turning points. Of course, that's where the gradient is equal to 0. So we're going to have to write 0 equals what we've just worked out, 6x minus 3x squared. Um, well, this is a quadratic, and to solve all quadratics, we factorise it. It's not a straightforward one. It's a slightly easier one, in fact. Um, 3 goes into both of those, and there's an x in both of those. Um, 3 times 2 gives the 6, and we've got x squared there. We've only got an x outside, so we need another x there. So there's two possible answers. The first answer is when x is 0. And the second answer is when this is 0, which is when x is 2. Now we've also got to work out what the y number is. And you find out the y number by putting the 0 back in the original equation, the y equals equation. And clearly that one there just gives 0. And this one here, when you put 2 in it, you get the answer 4. Now this time we're not finished. What we've got to do now is actually find out what d2y by dx squared is. And this means actually differentiating this thing here again. So the 6x is just going to change down to a 6, isn't it? And 3x squared goes down to 6x's. Now we've got to put in two different values for this. First of all, when x is 0. When x is 0, then d2y by dx squared, so I'm pasting this in because it takes a long time to type it, then this thing is going to be 6 take away 0, which is just 6, isn't it? Now that's positive. Now because it's positive, that means this is a minimum at this point. At 0, 0, we're going to have a minimum. But let's try it again at when x is 2. And when x is 2, let's try and write it this time, d2y by dx squared, put in 2, we're getting 6, take away 6 times 2, that's minus 6. It's negative. And we've learnt that if the second derivative is negative, then it must be a maximum. So we can now actually sketch this graph. We know we've got a minimum at 0, 0. And we know we've got a maximum at 2, 4. And it's a quadratic, so we're going, sorry, it's a cubic, so we're going up, down, and down again. Look at that messy graph there. But all done.